Good morning. Hello, I'm Olivia. I'm with AWOL Dance. This is hosted by AWOL and my home. Um, if at the end of this you feel like giving a five to fifteen dollar donation, you can do that on our website and visit our website for a lot more um, live stream classes. Thanks for joining me this morning. We're gonna do a power half hour, some cardio warm up, um, but some things. To get started with, you'll need two cans of food or light weights. If you have light weights, you can use those. Nothing too crazy. But if you have two cans of food, I have beans this morning. Um, we're going to be using these to start. And then also, if you have a hardwood floor, you'll want a towel or socks. And if you have carpet, some paper plates or something you can slide with. I'm going to give you a minute or so to go grab those things and we'll get going. If you already have those things and you're waiting, grab a sip of water, circle your joints. You can join me in circling your wrists and your ankles. Every time I do this, it's unique. So I'm gonna probably just adjust my screen as we need to, perfect. So, if you're joining us, good morning. Two cans, two cans of food and or towel if you're on hardwood floor or paper plates if you're on carpet. Circling those joints. Looks like we've still got a few people joining in. I'm just gonna wait 30 more seconds and then we'll get going. Get some music on. Take some nice deep, nice deep breaths in your nose, out your mouth. Hope you've had some coffee and a good breakfast. All right, let's get to it. Let me check on my sound. Yeah, there we are. All right, let's get started. Starting with a little bit of cardio. Get our blood flowing. So we're going to grab your cans, come to standing. For the moment, I'm going to take my socks off. Good. Arms by your side. Roll your shoulders back three times. And forward. Good. Circle your head to one direction. And the other. And go back the other way, add your shoulders. Round it forward and around, and the other way. Bend your knees, fold up the hips, arching down. Then drop your head, tuck your tail, roll up through your spine. And again, I know it feels silly to hold cans, but you're gonna love it in just a moment. <laughs> One more like that. Good, reversing that. Roll down your spine, plie the legs, and then fly your arms out to the side as you flat back up. Good, lower the arms, roll down, bend the knees. Arms straighten and fly. One more like that. Wait until your toes pause here in your flat back. Check that those hands are not flying up and back like wings, but straight out from your shoulders and level out your head with your spine. And turn to the side so you can see we have three toe rises, lifting the heels, try a little balance and lower. Pull your belly button into your spine, two, three, bend the knees, plie, roll up. Good, same thing turned out. We're gonna arms out, flat back forward. A little different stretch here, you can kind of wag your tail side to side. And three toe rises here and turned out, feels funny too. And three, bend the knees, roll up. Good, step those feet out nice and wide so that when you take a plie, your knees are over your ankles. We want to avoid this shape. Step those feet out. Arms out to this side. Swing the arms to cross as you plie straight. And swing to straight. And swing. If you can hear that rhythm, find it with me. Plie and straighten. And plie and straighten. You can alternate which arm crosses in front. Good. And stay in that plie. 
Okay, draw your elbows to your side. Press your knees back, drop your tailbone down. Push your hands back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your hands to take your hands to tap above your head and squeeze. Hands to tap and squeeze. Good. Four quick. Four, three, two, one. Good. Pause. And now press out and pull the elbows in. And press in. Two. And in. Three. And four. Good. Press above the head. And two. And three. And four. To 90 degrees. In. And up. And in. Here's three. Here's four. Let's go four more. Sink an inch lower. One. And two, press those knees back. Three and four. Good, feel the burn. Turn your toes in, fold forward, rock side to side. Bend your knees, roll up. Good, turn those toes out. Last little set here. We're going to press out into our second position. You're going to turn and press across the body, then rainbow up and over to center. Turn and press. Rainbow up and over. Here we go. Turn and rainbow. Turn, press, and rainbow. Stay nice and low. Two more each side. Good. And relax forward. For now, go ahead and set those hands off to the side. Let's walk our hands out to a downward dog. Drop the heels. Walk through your feet. Breathing deeply. We have 10 shoulder shrugs here. Shrugging at a diagonal. Top of your head is directed in between your fingertips. Keep going. 10 of them. Reaching your sit bones up and back to where the ceiling meets the wall. Good. Three push-ups, elbows out here, driving the top of your head again towards your fingertips. Two, and three. Now elbows in and wrapping, elbows to the floor. Three, and straight. Two, and one. Good, lower down to your knees, and take some cat cows to breathe. Nice inhale with your cow. Ribs dropping down top of the head and tail to the sky. Exhale, rounding your back. Push into the floor. Gaze to your belly button a few times on your own. It's your own timing. Then you can take a few of what I tell my students, disco kitty cow, where you take those ribs in a circle. Good. Take your ribs around the inside of a barrel and reverse it a couple of times. I do not have a mat underneath me, but if you need to put a pillow, a blanket, or a yoga mat under you, for this next series, we'll be down here for just a little bit, all right? So let's tuck the toes and lift the hips up into our down dog. Pick a leg, any leg, lift that leg five times to the sky, tapping your toe on the floor. I'm gonna start with this leg. Here we go for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up there and pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Tap the knee to the chest and place the foot down. A little moment to rock here in your lunge. Good, set it up nice and strong so your inner thighs are squeezing together. We're gonna take a deep breath in, touch the palms, and come back down, touch the floor. Lift, and lower. And three, and lower. And four, and lower. Last time, five, and lower. Turn it out, drop your tailbone down. Try to keep this heel Plant it, point and flex, and turn it in. Then keep twisting, tuck your back leg in, both booty cheeks on the floor, sit up tall. Option to hug your leg and take a twist. Challenge this morning with that twist, use it to help you stand up without hands. Woo! Take a little step back. Melt down, walk out to your downward dog, and other side. Leg lifts for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Knee to chest, rock it forward to your plank, 
and set up your lunge. A moment here to rock forward and back. Driving that back heel back, make sure your front knee is mostly over your front ankle. Good. Inner thigh squeezing and up for five and tap. Four, tap. Three, two, and one. Place it down, turn to the side. Option to reach those hands out in front. It's a little point to flex. Go ahead and turn it to center. And keep twisting here. If you're twisting up tall, both booty cheeks on the floor. Either arm reaching out or down. Lovely booty stretch. Use that wind up to help you stand up. We're going to bend and fold forward. Walk it back out to your down dog. And lower the knees down. Go ahead and find a mat for those joints if you need it. All right. Pick an arm. Keep everything centered. Hips over knees. Shoulders over wrists. Pick an arm to start with. We're gonna go thumb up towards the sky, arm by your ear, and we'll do 10 pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Out to a Y, so a high diagonal for you. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We're really trying to think about pulling your shoulder blade into your back pocket. Nothing moves but that arm. Good, and lower down, other side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, out to a B, five, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, straight elbow, 3, 2, and 1. Take that arm, dive it towards the floor, weaving underneath, finding a twist here. Push into this bent elbow arm to twist towards the sky. Good, let's go all the way up. And you're gonna tip into kind of a side plank here, opening the hips. Let the ribs splay to start. Good morning. While we're here, reach up to the sky. You know, if you see the back, should be just fine. Reach up towards the sky. We're focusing on this leg. Toes are turned in. And we're gonna lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, getting warm. Back to center, opposite arm. Let's thread through to a twist. And come on up. Planting same side, hand to knee. Find that twist and take a moment, just let it splay. Open your hips, open your chest. Good. Center it back. Lifting through those lower obliques. Pushing strong into the standing arm and reach up to the sky. Again, foot is in parallel, so not turned out. We'll get there in a little bit. Ten lifts. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Just roll yourself around. Find a child's pose. Take a deep breath. Nice work. I'm starting to get a little sweat. Hope you are too. Come on back to your hands and knees. We have one more set of this. If you need, go ahead and take a pillow. I'm going to use a pillow. I lost my yoga mat. Got to go get a new one. Option for this exercise to take a can and squeeze it behind your knee. Mine might slip due to my pants. We'll see. Yeah. Or even grab like a sock or something so that you're ensuring that you're squeezing your booty. Find your tabletop and we have 10 lifts up to the sky and back to center. Here we go. Belly button in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 10 doggy on a fire hydrants. Go 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, three, two, and 
and one. Little shake it side to side, other side. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Doggy on the fire hydrant. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Shake it out. Come on to your booty, and we'll find our straddle. Maybe this morning it's this tiny pizza slice. Maybe you're really pressing it open, but try not to let your pelvis tuck back. You want to sit up as tall as possible on those sit bones. So wrap yourself into that sweet spot this morning. We'll start with pointed toes, reaching the arms up, and taking it up and over to one side, but don't relax over. We're gonna lift through the obliques and transition to the other side. Arms by your ears. There's two, we have five to each side. Use those obliques. There's three. Grow taller through the center. Ribs together. One more each side. Good, now to the front, hands behind the head, flat back forward. Just five of these, go as far as you can with a flat back and lift back up. And lift. There's three for me. Two more. And five. Good, take a moment, reach out as far as you can. You can flex your feet, drop side to side. Good, shake it out to the center. All right, we got our legs all fired up. It's time for our core. If you need a mat through any of this, you are welcome to use it. I'm turn my myself down just a tiny bit. Grab a sip of water. All right, we're gonna focus on three-dimensional core today. So not just five million crunches, we'll do those as an ab finale at the end. But a little challenge today, we're gonna to try 10 hollow body rocks on each side, front side, back side. So to the back are usually where we find them the easiest. Belly button is always pressing in if you need to. Little bend in the knees, but shoulder blades are lifting off the ground. You're going to try to rock without arching the back and kind of thumping one side to the other. So whatever you need to do to access those abs, 10 hollow body rocks. If you're like, no, I want more than that, 20. Ready, go. Squeeze your arms towards your ears and squeeze your ankles together. Long neck as you take your hollow body rocks. When you're done, we're moving on to one side. So these are a little weird. Here's your weird challenge of the day. I know you might feel like a floppy fish, but what you're going to do is lift one side first Squeeze those ankles together and rock. It might help to have a pad under that hip bone. If that's a little wonky for you, lift lower and upper halves together. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. I'm using this top arm as a stabilizer. 10 or 20. Go ahead. All right. Good. After that, we're on the Superman rocks or Superman lifts. I like to start by lifting the heels, pushing into a little arch, and then reaching the hands out. Squeeze those ankles together. Try not to hold your hands together. 10 to 20 reps. Good. When you're done, you can press up to a little cobra stretch or back to a child's pose. We have one more side. Take it to your other side and find your rock or your lips. 10 to 20. It's okay if you feel a little wonky on the side. They are a little wonky. Focus on those obliques. Lengthening on the other underside, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Good. Take a nice deep breath. Roll your head around. Relax that neck and shoulders. And here we go, we're ready to move on. We're now gonna take that up to a plank. So, starting with our regular plank, I'm 
going to have to modify a tiny bit with my space. But we're going to take little shrugs in our plank. I'll do a quick demo first. We start in our plank. We're doing shoulder shrugs. You bring your shoulder blades together and then push them apart. Then when we take it to the side, you're doing little hip dips. Hip dips or shrugs. Tiny little one. Then we're going to flip. Try to make sure that your fingers are to the side or towards your booty. And we're going to take little hip dips and lifts. And then to the side. Alrighty, 10 shrugs or lifts to each one. If you're feeling hardcore, 10 push-ups to the front with the shoulder shrug, which means we go shoulder shrug, push-up, center, shoulder shrug. Alrighty, let's count it out to the front. Ready, go. That's the advanced version, regular version, and if you need to come down to your knees. Good, breathe through those 10, and we'll join to the side. I'm gonna count three, two, one, and let's go to the side. Stack it up and hip dips. Option to do these on your elbows as well. Three, four, keep it up, five, Six, seven, nine, and ten. To the back, flip it over. Again, towards your booty or out to the side, just not fingers back. And here we go. Not the arms lifting, just the hips. Belly button and squeeze the hips. Squeeze the glutes. I'm on six, seven, Nine and ten to the side. Good work. Shake it out. To the side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten, shake it out. We're in the home stretch. Then we'll do a little cool down. Keep breathing. All right, I'm gonna use a table for these next leg lifts. These are really good if you're an aerialist and you're like, I don't want to lose my straddle inverter. These are great to do. You can hold on to a couch or a chair or anything. Um, so I've got my table here and a pillow for my back. All righty. We're gonna do a little circuit here. So we have abs and then arms, and I have a couple options for each. So take a deep breath, grab a sip of water while I explain. Good. So I'm reaching back for my table, and option number one would be to tuck and tap and lower. Option number two would be to pull pike up. And option number three would be to straddle up and tap. That's your full straddle invert right there, really tucking from the tail that moment instead of just lifting the whole back and controlling the way down. Nice long neck. Ready? So, magic number eight and three. We've kind of gone with those numbers today. I'm gonna pause this. Alrighty, so you have magic number eight. I am inspired by my sister's workout yesterday. Eight is great. So, eight leg lifts of one of those variations. And then we have eight push-ups, and I invite you to change it up every time. Elbows in, elbows out. I love this variation with a foam roller, if you have a roller of some sort. This is a more advanced option. Let's get myself back a little bit. Good, you're going to Lower down to your push-up, rock to your forearms, rock back to your hands, and then push up again. All righty. I'll be counting us out. Three rounds, eight reps. We're just going back and forth between those two exercises. All righty. Here we go. Wait. Let me sync it up. Set yourself up at your table or your couch. Here we go. 
and leg lift, spreading set, go. We have eight, lower, seven, feel free to change it up every time, six, five, take the rest on your own time. Good, try not to pause. Set up push-ups. They can be on your knees, absolutely, but make sure you're keeping that awesome form. Squeeze your booty, tuck your tail round through your shoulders. Eight push-ups. Keep breathing. Shaking is good, it means you're fighting for it. Take it back to your leg lifts. I'm on my second set here. Keep breathing. Belly button in, try to relax your neck. Good, on to your push-ups. A fun challenge is diamond hands. Bring those fingers and thumbs together. Two and one. Feeling that burn. Shake it out, but keep going. Last set. Then a little cool down to come. Here's four for me. And five. Power it up. Deep breaths, last set of push-ups. Eight on your own, pump them out. Keep that form, keep your core wrapping in. Quads lifted, pressing through the chest and your back. Nice deep breath. When you're done, take yourself into child's pose and breathe for a moment. Good. Sip of water, breathe in nice deep. Good. All righty. Got a couple more minutes. We're going to take a little cool down, a little ab cool down. All righty. On your booty. We're going to take five lemon squeezers, five, four, three, two, one, then roll over and take a stretch. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Little dive your head around, press up into a cobra or up dog. Lower abs engage to protect your low back, long neck. Go ahead, lower down, roll back to your back. Five more. Lemon squeezers or V up. So you can go all the way up to your V up. Three, two, one. Dive your head around to the other direction. Take a stretch. Go ahead, lower down to your belly. I recommend a pad under you for this one. Go ahead and reach back. So this is both a core stretch and a quad stretch. So maybe right here is good for you, or you want to do one at a time. You can stay here and alternate between squeezing those heels in and then kicking your feet out to find that nice chest stretch. And relax. And press. And relax. Good. One last stretch on our bellies. I'm going to modify here. Get into goal post arms. One arm is going to stay flat on the ground. Other hand presses under the shoulder. And we'll rock into our pec stretch. Back to center for a moment. Straighten that arm and flip your palm up. Then roll back to that side. And you can either try to get your foot into your hand or reach your other arm up and reach back to touch. And 
other side. Go back to your goal pose, roll it over. Enjoy that nice twist through the spine. Roll to center, straighten and flip. Nice job. Come on up, roll your shoulders out. Give yourself a power clap. Thank you so much. I'm realizing I had so many more exercises, like with the socks and the towels and the paper plates, but then I just got carried away and I had too many exercises. So that means come back next week with your towel or your socks or your paper plates and we'll add on from there. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great rest of your day. Go get lots of water and rest. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.